me get my screen set up here. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, something's on that shouldn't be on. Let me do this. So the deal with this exercise is more than just about the chords meeting. It is about the chords meeting, but the, what happens when the, when the vocal chords are not meeting properly, we end up doing a whole bunch of manipulations externally to try to compensate for the fact that the chords are, are not meeting. So we end up with, with muscular tension, neck tension, jaw tension, all these things we, we do subconsciously to try to make our voice work and to try to make the notes come out in a way that's, that's not ideal, not efficient. The most efficient way is have our vocal cords meet completely from top to bottom. So this exercise is about creating a, you know, when, when there's a hole in the vocal cords, when there's a gap, there's like a breathy sound. We lose the, the percentage of tone goes down. Let's say your tone is 50% tone and 50% air. That might indicate that there's a gap in the vocal cords. Maybe your tone is 70% tone and 30% air. When the vocal cords are meeting the way they should, it's 100% tone and 0% air escaping, and there's no manipulation or muscular activity on the outside that's trying to manipulate it to make up for the fact that our chords aren't meeting. That's, that's what this exercise is all about. Think of it at the 
same time, try to keep your nostrils sort of flared while you're doing this exercise because it opens up this whole area up here that we're trying to address. If you sort of think of a yawn or whatever, nostrils flared. <laughs> sound up there. I'm not trying to sing loud, not trying to, to force anything. Uh, somebody saying I find it easier to flare the nostrils when singing Ninga instead of Minga. That's fine. It, it accomplishes the same thing. I'm going to encourage you to kind of flare your nostrils on all these exercises. The reason is thinking about flaring nostrils opens up the nasopharynx. If the not if we're if we're not thinking about it, there's a chance that the nasopharynx is sort of closed off. Not not 100% of the time, but it's an indication that that upper upper uh, resonance area might be kind of shut off. It's like having the attic door shut versus having the attic door open. There's all that extra space in there for the sound to vibrate. <laughs> Thank you. 
tongue is one of the biggest uh, culprits in healthy singing. It's in there doing all kind of crazy stuff, getting in the way, and we don't even realize it until you try to do one of these exercises and you realize, man, my tongue will not lie flat, will not vibrate freely. That's an indication that your tongue is um, in need of uh, uh, attention. <laughs> tongue trill exercise is the only exercise that gets easier for me as the pitch goes higher i wonder why so my my initial response is that your tongue is relaxing as you go up and so the exercise becomes easier it might be that in your case every like literally everybody's different every single person has slightly different vocal issues it might be that for you, your tongue is more tense in the lower and middle register, and then as you go higher, it actually relaxes. And so the exercise gets easier, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but that might be what's happening. Okay, let's work on a bunch of hard music, shall we? I'm not going to spend too much time on the easy parts because they're easy. I'm going to spend most of our time on the difficult sections. So please uh, find joy in the morning. I don't mean the music, I just mean I think you should just try to find some joy in the morning. I'm just talking philosophically. Where is joy in the morning? Let's look at the last two pages for starters. Um, altos, can I hear, can I hear you please? Top of 10, second measure, altos. Here we go. Top of 10, second measure, altos. Oh, one, two. Villagers, oh, one, two. Swing open wide, one. 
Though wind may follow, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers all want to, joy shall be yours in the morning. Joy shall be yours. And then the upper alto part is, in the morning. By the way, any second sopranos who don't want to sing the high note could jump over on this last two measures and sing the upper alto part. It's up to you. But here's the upper alto at that measure one. In the morning. And the lower alto part there at the end is a one. In the morning. That's a really important part, by the way, because it makes it sound like the it gives the whole song its final resolution. Altos, once again, please. Top of 10, second measure. One, two, the altos go. Villagers all want to swing open wide. One, the wind may follow, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers all Joy shall be yours in the morning. Joy shall be yours in the morning or in the morning. Okay, Sopranos, let me hear you please. Top of 10. You're a measure ahead of everybody at this section. Sopranos, top of 10, first measure. Ready, go. Villagers all this frosty time. Swing open wide, the wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villages all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning, joy shall be yours in the morning. Let's do sopranos and altos together. I'll start the sopranos. Let's see how I do. One, two, sopranos first. How are you doing, sopranos and altos? You feel like you're getting it? Let me hear tenors and basses. The trick with some of the parts that aren't the melody is just where the rhythms lie because it's not necessarily intuitive and you're singing sort of an echo, but then at other times you're singing with the melody. So here's uh, tenors and basses. Ready, go. Villagers all. Sorry, I wasn't counting. One, two. Villagers all want to swing open wide. One. The wind may fall or snow beside two, one, two. Mm. Villagers all, joy shall be yours in the morning. Joy shall be yours in the morning. So the bass at the end, in the morning. And the tenor, in the morning. Let's see how we do with all the parts. I'll start the sopranos and then I'll just play alto and soprano because I alto and tenor bass because I think the sopranos are probably okay on their own. Here comes sopranos lead us in. A one, two, top of ten. How you doing? Feel like you're getting it, this, despite the lines being a little bit independent? Let's go back a section. 
uh, let's just, for now, let's just add four measures on the front of that. So bottom of nine, second measure. This is a little interlude that's, that's it happens uh, two other times in the song, but this time it changes keys. So second measure bottom of nine sounds like this. So for the basses and tenors, joy, 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 and then you have a measure of, of rest to turn your page and kind of hear the new key. Let's hear the tenors and basses again. Here's bass, here's tenor. Second measure, bottom of nine, a one, two, a ready, go. Joy, two, one, two, joy. Sopranos, villagers, oh, villagers, oh. Does that make sense, tenors and basses? Altos, can I hear you, please? So the tenors and basses and sopranos come in a measure before you like they always do at this section. Alto, joy, joy, one, two, joy. Rest, rest, villagers, oh. One more time. Let's add, let's do tenors and basses and altos all together. So here's bass, tenor, and then a measure later, altos. Here we go. Ready, and. Joy, alto, joy, 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 key change, villagers, Sopranos, let me hear you. You've got a little bit trickier job, Sopranos, because you don't have an, a measure of rest to get used to the new key. You have to flow right into it. Here we go, Sopranos. Second measure, bottom of nine. One, two, oh, ready, go. Joy, 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 joy. Villagers always frosted died. Does that make sense, Sopranos? Is it kind of intuitive now that we've kind of gone over it a little bit? Let's try all the parts. Second measure, bottom of nine. Here's bass, tenor, al uh, soprano, and then a measure later, altos. Here we go, uh, measure 61. Ready, go. Joe, alto, soprano, soprano, villager, others, villagers, Make sense? So I don't think it's too difficult of a transition uh, compared to maybe some other things we've sung. Now let's look at top of eight, please. Basses and tenors. Here, this is a new, uh, the old key. Here we stand. Basses and tenors, top of eight. One, two, third measure. Here we stand, one, two, blowing fingers and stamping feet. Come from a way for you to greet you by the fire and we in the street. Villagers all, joy shall be yours in the morning. Joy, joy, joy. I'll go a little slower because it's kind of a mouthful of voids. Basses and tenors, top of eight, third measure. One, two. Here we stand. One, two. Blowing fingers and stamping feet. Come from a way for you to greet you by the fire and we in the street. Villagers all, joy shall be yours in the morning. Okay. Altos, let me hear you at that section, please. Top of eight, third measure. One, two, altos, go. Here we stand in the cold and sleet, blowing fingers and stamping feet. 
Come from away for you to greet You by the fire and we in the street Villagers all this frosty tide Joy shall be yours in the morning I love all the imagery, all the Christmas, Christmas imagery. It's beautifully written. I don't know if it's a folk song or an original. It says Emily Crocker, does it say? Oh, it is a, it is a traditional French carol. Uh, that's obviously been translated into English. Here we go, altos. Third measure, top of eight. One, two, ready, and. Here we stand in the cold and sleet, blowing fingers and stamping feet. Come from away for you to greet, you by the fire and we in the street. Villagers all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. This is as good a time as any to tell you that we're going to sing it in French. Let's try the bottom two, the bottom two staves together. So bass and tenor, alt and alto. This is third measure, top of eight. One, two, ready, go. challenging to play both of those at the same time. I think one of my eyes popped out on a spring. Okay, so that's those two parts together. Sopranos, let me hear you, please. Oh, look, you have the melody again. How unfortunate. Sopranos, two, ready, go. Here we stand in the cold and sleet, blowing fingers and stamping feet. Come from away for you to greet, you by the fire and we in the street. Villagers all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. Hey, let me give you some no breath places, please. Tenors and basses, uh, don't breathe after your word stand at the top of eight. And then altos and sopranos, please don't breathe after your word greet at the bottom of eight, third measure. And then... Bottom of nine, sopranos don't breathe going into top of 10. Th these, are these are Jonathan's instructions. So it's supposed to be joy, 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 villagers all with no breath. So um, you can breathe before you get to the concert and then sing the, all the songs and then breathe after is what I'm saying. Hey, let's do all the parts at top of eight. Sopranos, you're on your own. And I'll try to play the other two parts. One, two, a little bit slow. we're starting to nail down the last four pages of the song. It sort of makes sense. Now let's let's review the beginning. First page, last two measures. Here we go. B 
beginning. One, two, ready, go. a minute ago. So we have now officially touched on the whole song. Doesn't mean that we're nailing everything, but we're kind of getting a sense of the whole. How did you do um, top of six? Let me see. This is a text from my daughter. How did you do top of six? We have rehearsed this before, but sometimes in the context or turning the page or whatever, we forget certain things. Let's just hit briefly uh, top of six. Basses and tenors. One, two, top of six. Villagers all, one, two, one. Let them open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside it. Draw us in by a fire to bide. Villagers all, joy shall be yours in the morning. Are you getting that, tenors and basses? Does it sound familiar? Altos, let me hear you, please. One, two, top of six. Villagers all this frosty tide, let your door swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. What if we just did it in a French accent? Villagers all this frosty tide, Maybe that would be enough. Sopranos, let me hear you top of six. One, two, soprano, top of six. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your noise swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bite. Villagers, all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. Okay, that's kind of a um, getting a sense of the whole of this song, I think. Let's move on, please. Ecce Novo. Ecce Novo, page 10 at the bottom, measure 95. You know what's going to happen, don't you? You guys are going to learn this music and sing it beautifully. By the time the concert happens, you're going to feel really co comfortable and confident, and you're going to sing beautifully as, as a choir. I always wish that we could do a, a choir to get everybody together, 200, 200 plus people all together. I want, to, I want to hear what that sounds like. Here we go. Sopranos, let me hear you, please. At 95, this is the second to last measure, bottom of... 10. One, two, three. Virgo, sorry. Virgo parit pu. Amen. 
<laughs> Let me do something here real quick, sorry. I'm writing in some chord symbols, which will allow me to accompany you better. Thought I had done that already, but alas, I had not. The flat and then the top of the page is a C chord and then a D minor. The saddest of all keys. Here we go, sopranos. Measure 95 again. One, two, three. Virgo pa. Rit pura. to learn. Paul? Yes. On um, 96? Yep. Can you play those notes? Virgo pa. That's not what I have. I'm, um, hmm. What part are you singing? Oh, 95. Soprano, sorry. Yeah. But, okay, thanks. One, two, three. Uh, uh. Thank you. We're oh. we'll breathe here, Paul. Please give us a breathing space. Um, there is no breathing. It's all staggered. Okay. So breathe when you need to, and then come back in. Like, don't put the ending on the word when you breathe. And when you come back in, don't put the beginning on the words. So it's going to be people going in and out the whole time, and it's going to sound like nobody breathed. Uh, somebody's asking, is it pronounced men or main? Um, where are where are we looking here? Um, um, it should be men. Um, some of the singers on the rehearsal track pronounced it main, but I think it's really men. Amen. Uh, so if you hear main on your particular rehearsal track, just make it men like we normally would. Okay, so let me hear the let me hear uh, the bottom three parts at ninety five. Here's bass, tenor, alto. No soprano, just for a minute. Bass, tenor, alto. One, two, three. V. Anybody having trouble with those parts? I'm guessing that we sort of got those. Let's add the soprano to that, please. So here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Oh, one, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. That is some beautiful choral writing there. This this progression reminds me of the Carpenters. What song is it? I'll think of it later. Okay, so tenors, let's let's continue at measure 103, which is bottom of 11. Such a pretty melody. Tenor, so one, two. You're going to hold it if this feels like forever. One more time. Tenors. Oh, one, 
to Basses, can I hear you? 104. Let's write the basses up to a high D just to see how much pain we can put them in. Basses and a one. Day So the last three measures, basses, you're with the tenors. For a minute there, you're doing your own thing, and then you end up with the tenor. So let's try the tenors and basses together. Here's the tenor. Here's the bass. Two beats after the tenors. Here we go, tenors first. A one, two. Altos, can I hear you at 104? And then where does it go? Altos at 104, please. Uh, one, two, three, one. Day For a minute, let's just do the upper alto. Just the uppers. And one. Amen. And now the lower alto. One. So, just to be clear, the last E of the upper alto in measure 106, 4, 5, 6, on the word um is an E flat because there's been an E flat in the lower alto. They should have put a complementary accidental for the upper alto. And then the very next note on the, the first note of amen is E natural, and they should have put a complementary ac accidental on that. So the the upper alto goes feelium. That's E flat, and then the next note is E natural. They sort of left it to our imaginations. The two alto parts together, please, at one o four and oh, one day. So altos, you do have this together on the third note of Fi. De, fi. Isn't that pretty? It's over this chord. It just lasts for one little moment and then it and then it goes away. Sopranos, let me hear you. Bottom of 11, second measure, and a one. Amen. One more time, sopranos. And one.
altos and sopranos together. Such beautiful writing. I think this is like a masterpiece of writing. It's not crazy hard, but it's hard enough to be interesting. And then when you put all the lines together, it's beautiful. And we're going to do it. The plan is to do it with a string quartet in addition to the piano. The string parts for it. So it's going to be kind of nice. Uh, here we go. Altos and sopranos, bottom of 11. Here's the alto, soprano. One, two, three, one. How you doing on that? Feel like you're getting it? Let's have the tenors and basses join us. So the tenors lead this section with this line. So pretty. And the basses come in up two beats later with. See how I do. Tenors lead us in. A one, two. Let's try it in context. Now go back to 95, please. Ninety-five, here's the bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Oh, one, two, three. How did you do? Did you get most of it? It's such a beautiful section, I think. Now, let's go back, shall we? Let's look at bottom of nine. Ece quod natura. Let's do tenor and bass together. This is letter C, measure 81, bottom of nine. Bass tenor. One, two, three. just were a minute ago. So let's just review the, the Latin. Say after me, please. Ece quod na tura mutat sua jura. Bottom of, of 10 is sua jura. And the sopranos have slightly different rhythms, but we'll, we'll review that in a minute. Tenors and bass is just that section again. Bottom of nine, letter C. One, two, three. have a slightly different rhythm of the lyric. 
Altos and sopranos. Can we do you at the same time? I think we can. Letter C, altos and sopranos. You're together for a minute here and measure 81, bottom of nine. One, ready, go. first here. Then we're at 95 where we just were. Somebody said here, uh, yes, we roll the R's gently. That's one question. And then can you please help the basses find their entry note at 104? Yes. For now, we're going to go back to letter C and do, let's, let's do all parts together at letter C. Bottom of nine, here's bass, tenor, and alto. Oh, one, two, Let's look at the top of 10 briefly, please, where the tenor and alto come in on moo before everybody else. So the tenor and alto have this line, one, two. Have I mentioned that I think this is an absolutely beautiful piece? Tenors and altos, the mu tot line, a one, two. Mu dot su ayu ra. Off. Let's let's do the let's do the uh, soprano and bass right on mu. This is well, the basses are saying na. And the sopranos are saying moo. This is the last measure top of 10. Oh, one, two, three, two, three, two, three. Let's try all the parts together. Pickups to the last measure top of 10. So altos, altos and tenors are gonna do this. Basses are here, sopranos are here. So tenors and altos one beat before. One, two. question was how do the basses find their note in 104 that is a good question so that the measures that precede that are so here's a couple of things that come to mind one is it's the fifth of the chord the chord is C and you're on the one one, three, five of the chord, day, fi. That's one method. Another is that it's the two or the ray of the scale. Here's the scale. One, two, three, you're on the two, day, fi. Another would be, uh, let me see here. I'm 
I'm not sure what else to tell you because you're, you're way down here on a B flat prior to that, and then you got to find this note. And B C is how they taught us in school to memorize that interval. And B C, but it's hard to do in the context. Uh, and B C and B C. It's hard, it's hard to find that note in the context of that. That might be one of those, Dave, where you have to kind of memorize the sound of it. You're down here, and then the chord goes here. Okay, I would like to move on just so that we don't uh, wear out our welcome on this song if you know what I mean. Let's look at a midwinter carol. I'm like the, I'm like the, the um, personal trainer that you hire to get in shape and you end up hating me because of all the pain I put you through. And then at the end, you're, you're in shape and we can still be friends somehow, but in the process, I'm constantly making you do unpleasant things, but you're paying me to do it. It's a strange relationship. <laughs> uh, that's what it's like. Let's do top of 11. Altos. Top of 11, pickups to 59. Yet what can I give him? Altos. Here we go. One, two. Yet what can I give him? Basses and tenors singing. Just to be clear, the word give at measure 68 is going to have a fermata over. It's going to hold. I will give, hold, little break. And then the word my is going to have a fermata on it too. My heart. We're taking a little bit of liberty there that's not written. So for the altos at 67, I will give. Let's go back altos and do it, this all again. Top of 11, oh, one, two. Yet what can I give him? What can I give him? I will give my heart. I will give my heart. I will give my heart. Sopranos, let me hear you, please. Pickups to fifty nine sopranos, a one, two. Yet what can I give him? I will give my heart. I will give my I know there are some middle notes. I haven't forgotten those. Let's try soprano and alto together. Pickups to 59. Here we go. Here's the altos peel off. 
Here we go. One, two. have this lovely note in here. Once again, just those two parts, and then we'll go tenor and bass. Here we go. Top of 11, oh, one, two. Tenor, bass. Tenors, let me hear you where you enter, please. Bottom of 11. What can I give him? Here we go, tenors. Oh, one, two, three. What can I give him? I will give my heart. I will give my heart. I Time tenors, bottom of eleven and one, two, three. What can I give him? I please. Bottom of 11. One. Ready. Go. What can I give him? I will give my heart, my heart. I will give I think we can do those two parts together. Here's the bass, here's the tenor. Then we'll go back and do top of 11 with the soprano and alto and we'll put it all together. Bass, tenor, one, ready, go. So there is a middle note on my, so if you're a bass and you want to sing the middle note, give my heart, or if you're a tenor and you want to sing the middle note, give my heart. Let's try all the parts together, starting top of 11. Tenors and basses. And one. Two, three, oh, one. Break.
Isn't that beautiful, beautiful writing? As a question, yes. Where's the break you're talking about? We're adding it between the word give and the word my. Thank you. I'll show you how I notated it on my music. You don't have to do it this way, but this is how I did it. Can you see? Let me back it up. I don't know if you can see it. Not really, but I put a big B there for breath. Uh, I put the two the two slanted lines, which is called a caesura. It's another way of indicating a, a break. I wonder why I can't get that to focus. Okay, thank you. Okay. Something like that. Paul? So, yes. Sorry. Do the altos and tenors in measure 65 their heart, I will give my heart. Are we no breath in there? It feels to me my heart. It feels like we're going to need one. Give my heart. I will give my. I think it actually sounds kind of musical. With a break? To break. Give my heart. I will give my heart. We don't have to make a. We don't have to make a big deal of the T. We can just take a little breath. Somebody's asking, can the first alto sing the middle notes in 68, 69? Of course. Kind of anybody who wants to, really. We amateurs call a caesura a railroad track. Exactly right. Okay, so let's go back a section now. Let's go top of nine. Let me hear the basses, please. 46. I love this last chord of 46. Days of our lives. I still remember that as a kid. I never could, I never could wrap my mind around soap operas. Every now and then I would try to tune in and watch and it just moved that the plot progressed at glacial speed. You could you could not watch for six months and not really miss anything. It's sort of like they 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 all had a meeting and they said, how can we just keep this thing going forever? And then like 10 years later, you'd watch it and it's all the same characters. They just got gray hair now. Like, are they still? Yeah, and somebody had amnesia and you know that kind of stuff that, oh God. I think I got amnesia from watching it. That's when I knew I needed to get a job. I got addicted to Days of Our Lives. It, that, for some reason, Days of Our Lives made it to Hong Kong television. How did that get through the screening process? How did somebody, whoever was at the TV station say, yeah, we really need to get Days of Our Lives overseas. That's an important show. We need to make that happen. Okay, so quick, quick on that note. In Japan, apparently, Anne of Green Gables is required reading. So I just got back from the Maritimes, and Prince Edward Island is where Anne of Green Gables was set. And the, there's so many Japanese tourists; it's unbelievable. That is, I could not have ever even have made that up. Strange, very strange, but true. Okay, bass is top of nine, forty-six. Here we go, one. Ready, go. What can I give him for as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do What a beautiful progression and bass line. Here we go again, 46 basses. Actually, let's add the tenors. See how we do just reading two parts together. Bass, tenor, top of nine, a one, ready, go.
How you doing folks? Tenors and basses, you feel like you're getting your notes? I don't want to go too fast, but I don't want to go too slow either, lest I be like days of our lives. Here we go. Uh, let's try altos and sopranos together, and then we'll talk and see if you're getting it. 46, alto, soprano. One, two, three. Try altos alone, please. At, at, let's try uh, bass, tenor, and alto. So here's bass. This is back at 46. I think this is such a pretty piece. Who wrote this one? Victor Johnson. Don't know who that is. I've heard his name a lot. I just don't know who it is. Here's bass, tenor, alto, top of nine. Oh, one, ready, go. and the altos are one note apart. The chord symbol for that is C2. C, the letter C and the number two. The tenors are on the note called two. Pretty, right? Let's see if we can do all the parts and then we'll talk about what you need. Top of nine, measure 46. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, three. section we rehearsed a minute ago. So tell me how you're doing on nine through the end. What what measures or what notes do you need help with? Can I hear soprano measure 54 and 55 please? Yeah so 54. If I were a wise man I would do my part or I would do my part if you're singing second soprano. So let's do 54 again, sopranos. So one, two, three. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. And then you have to go way down here. Yet what can I give him? Did that help? Yes, it did. Thank you. Okay. Any other measures or specific notes that you're kind of having trouble with in these pages? Yeah, measure uh, 51. Uh, which part? Soprano. Okay, so, so. With the page term. Yeah, so the line before that. If I were a shepherd, I would bring a do that again, sopranos. If I were a shepherd, last measure, bottom of nine. One. Catch the word, catch the note. If 
from from M. Oh, so you want to go back further then? Yeah. So, for as I am, if I were a shepherd. Good. So let me mute you. Sorry. Um, so it's a little bit of a pattern. What can I give? Sorry. What can I give him? Poor as I am, if I were. So each note of the phrase starts down one step. The first phrase starts here. Second phrase starts here. Third phrase starts here. What can poor as if I were? Does that make sense? Any other spots? Yes. Uh, uh, measure 58 there. We do go to the C, right? We go from the D to the C. Everybody else stays. Oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. You're, you're right. Okay, cool. You're exactly right. Thanks for catching that. So you go, um, I would do my part. Yep. And, and uh, 58 ends up feeling like a fermata, everybody. It feels like a hold because nothing's moving. I would do my part and two and three and one. And we end up kind of holding that and then a break. Yet what can I give him? Okay, let's move on, please, to Wreath of Carols. Page 12. Sounds very Christmassy, doesn't it, doesn't it? Basses, let me hear you at 97. Deck the halls, basses, 97. This is middle of 12. One, two, ready, go. Deck the halls with, sorry, the one hall. One, two, no, S. Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa, la, 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 la. Measures out. Fa la 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 la. Don't we know a gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Just that much again, basses. Starting at 97, a one. To ninety seven, go deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Chum 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 chum. Fa la 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 la. Dawn we know again a peril. Fa la la. Or same spot. Here we go. Tenors at 97. One, two, ready, go. Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. That's a lot of D's, tenor. 
more Ds than people are normally given. One more time, let's do tenor and bass together. Here's the bass, here's the tenor. 97, one, two, ready, go. Like you're kind of getting a handle. Altos, let me hear you please at 99. Ninety-nine altos. One, two, ready, go. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don't we now a gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. time alto starting at 99 here's the bass note at that same measure and the tenor note and the alto sopranos have but we're focusing on the alto here's the bass tenor alto one two ready go Sopranos, let me hear you. Should be kind of uh, intuitive, but the rhythms might be different. So 99 uh, Sopranos. Here's the bass, tenor, alto, and soprano. One, two, ready, go. Back to 97 with all the parts. So the, uh, at 97, the sopranos and altos are finishing the phrase from the previous song. Lovely are your branches. You're saying branches while the tenors and basses are starting fa la la. Okay, so here's the bass, the tenor, and the sopranos and altos. Branches, one, two, three, four. Branches the hall with boughs of holly. La, 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 la. Mm. Tis the season to be jolly. One o five. How are we doing on those two pages, folks? Page 12 and 13. You feel like you're getting it? Don't want to go too fast. Don't want to go too slow. So, basses, let basses and tenors. Let's try you guys together at 110. This is the last measure of 13. We'll try from here to the end. One, two, third, one, oh, sorry, 110. One, two, 110, go. Troll the A chant, Yuletide, Carol, three, four. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la, one. Fa la 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 la, la and then la. Fa la la la, we'll just, we'll work on that in a 
second. Uh, let's look at 114. Tenors and basses at 114. Here's the bass, here's the tenor. Two, ready, go. It's really clever writing the way they the guy wove it all together and then you can tell this is building to the big finish. Sopranos and altos, let me hear you at 110. One ten. One, two, ready, go. So let's try everybody at 114. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, ready, go. One. One more time, same thing, 114. Here's the bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, ready, go. Let's try from middle of 12. Branches and fa la la. 97, one, two, ready, go. Good job. Let me stop the record button here.